So you're thinking about moving to Cedar Rapids. Well, this video is gonna be your guide to living in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And if you're thinking about buying a home and you wanna know the good and the bad, the pros and the cons, and the yin and the yang to living in Cedar Rapids, well, you're in the right place. In this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about Cedar Rapids. That way, if you're thinking about making a purchase in the area, this should help give you an extensive overview of what's going on in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and what you should look out for, not only on the good side, but also on the bad side. There are some downsides that you'll want to stick around until the end for because it looks very promising. You wanna be very mindful of some of the negatives. By the way, my name is Tony Lucan and my wife Anna is my business partner, and we are with the Living in Iowa team. And if you wanna know everything there is to know about the state of Iowa and Cedar Rapids and the surrounding areas, Make sure you subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market, not only in Iowa, but Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And by the way, if you want one of our free relocation guides, then just check the description below. That's also where our contact information is. So whether you're moving in 10 days or 10 months, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call if you want to talk to myself or Anna personally. And we'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So let's get started and jump right into the primary pro number one on the list of living in Cedar Rapids. But before we get to the first pro, I want to share with you some of the stats. Cedar Rapids currently has a population a little bit over 134,000 people. According to the last census report in 2021, Cedar Rapids population has been growing very slowly with only an increase of 10,000 people in the last 10 years. Cedar Rapids has a below average growth. Now the average household income in Cedar Rapids is around 63,000 as of 2021. Most of those jobs are provided by the city of Cedar Rapids with a few jobs in Iowa City and surrounding smaller towns as well. Some of the top employers in Cedar Rapids are Rockwell Collins, Transamerica, St. Luke's Hospital, hy V, Mercy Medical Center, Kirkwood Community College, the City of Cedar Rapids, Nordstrom, and Quaker Oats. With a few other large employers outside of Cedar Rapids, consisting of Eastern Iowa Airport, Iowa Medical Correctional Center, and the University of Iowa Hospitals. Since the pandemic, there are also people living here that like the low-key vibe of Cedar Rapids that work from home. Now, home ownership is a big deal in Cedar Rapids with around 73% of residents that live in Cedar Rapids being homeowners, which is really great for families and all residents. The national average in the United States is 64%, which means that Cedar Rapids is 9% above the average city in America. Now let's get into the pros. Pro number one. Cedar Rapids is conveniently located next to the Eastern Iowa Airport. The airport is only a few miles south of Cedar Rapids with a quick travel from Highway 380. This allows easy travel across the United States and other countries for residents in the area. Pro number two, if you're looking to buy some rentals, Cedar Rapids is a great opportunity as we get calls from investors inside and outside of the state all the time. Lots of local residents love picking up a flip house or a rental due to there being multiple good rental pockets in the city. Also with the airport close, there's a market for the Airbnb style properties. Investing here is a great opportunity. Pro number three, could also be considered a con, but with below average growth, you may be wondering where or is there any potential growth in the area. Just north of Cedar Rapids is Hiawatha. They have built a brand new park and that area is really taken off with many new homes that are part of the future growth of the area. Then if you go 15 miles south on Highway 380, you'll run into Tiffin Exit. Tiffin is an area between Iowa City and Cedar Rapids that has many future growth plans. They're going to put in a virtual golf business that will have all the bells and whistles for golfing fanatics that will be visible from Highway 380. That also an IMAX theater and a movie theater that are in the plans with the restaurants and even a bowling alley to make it all in a one. All in all, there is room for growth, but Cedar Rapids is more slow and steady growth. 
If you want a booming and growing city, then Cedar Rapids may be too slow paced for you. Pro number four, affordability. Affordability is a big attraction to the city of Cedar Rapids. Cedar Rapids is known for being very affordable with the average home price sold, Cedar Rapids being 187,000 according to Zillow.com. We have many people from the western part of the country in California, Oregon, Washington State, and Utah that have inquired about the area as they love the affordability here. They tell us the stories of how expensive it is there and owning a nice home is more of a pipe dream than a reality for many out there. That is a big attraction to the area. Pro number five, convenient location. Cedar Rapids is 128 miles east of Des Moines, Iowa, which is the largest city in Iowa. It is very easy to get to Des Moines as you can just go south on 380 to westbound 80 and take that all the way to Des Moines. To the north, you have Waterloo Cedar Falls, Iowa, that is approximately 55 miles away. Waterloo Cedar Falls population is approximately 110,000. Again, travel is simple to get to Waterloo Cedar Falls as you go north on 380, which turns to Highway 20 westbound. From there, you will run into the exits of Waterloo Cedar Falls. To the south is Iowa City, Iowa. Iowa City is just a short 28 miles south of Cedar Rapids with convenient travel using Interstate 380 southbound. Then just a few miles east on Interstate 80 and you are in Iowa City. The travel in Cedar Rapids is very easy and has little to no traffic compared to larger cities. Pro number six, hospitals and healthcare. Let's talk about medical facilities in the area as it is definitely a pro for residents with pre-existing conditions and the elderly. In Iowa City, you have the highest level of care facility in the entire state, and that is the University of Iowa Hospital. They can manage about any condition any resident has. This hospital has 860 beds, 16,500 total employees with tens of thousands of patients a year. Then in Cedar Rapids, you also have St. Luke's Hospital and Mercy Medical Center that can handle tens of thousands of appointments a year themselves. In Cedar Rapids, you have a plethora of medical options at your disposal. Cedar Rapids also has more naturopath style clinics in integrative health and hormone clinic and many chiropractic clinics throughout the city. Pro number seven, acreages, small town options. The answer is a resounding yes on small town options. One of my favorite places in the area is Swisher Shuyville area, just south of Cedar Rapids. It has easy access to Interstate 380 that is the main artery from Cedar Rapids to Iowa City. Some of the most expensive homes in the entire area are located in Shuyville area. With many trees, the Iowa River, and just a quiet place to get out of the hustle and bustle while being close enough to shopping of Cedar Rapids and North Liberty. South of Cedar Rapids, you have also Ely, Iowa. Ely is a very small community that is only nine to 10 miles south of Cedar Rapids. It has some of the most amazing small businesses of Dan and Debbie's Creamery that has the best ice cream in the area. My mama's bakery that has the best kolaches of any place I've ever been to. And also a great bar in town called Odie's to get some food. It also has a couple nice parks and a bike trail that many use. You will also see many golf carts driving around as the locals all seem to have a golf cart. East of Cedar Rapids now, you have Marion, Iowa and Springville, Iowa. Marion is the largest suburb of Cedar Rapids and is connected to the city on the east side of Cedar Rapids. Many love living in Marion and especially lo love Linmar School District. Springville is 10-ish miles east of Cedar Rapids and has a small town vibe. If you like living just out of town with a smaller population, then Springville is an option. North of Cedar Rapids, you have Hiawatha, Robbins, and Albernet. Hiawatha and Robbins are connected and it is hard to tell you are out of Cedar Rapids. While Albernet is out of town a few miles, if you want another small town option, look into Albernet, Iowa. West of Cedar Rapids is Palo, Fairfax, and Atkins. Palo is just a short distance west on Blairs Ferry Road. It is known to flood though, so make sure you know the areas that are safe from flooding from the Cedar River. Fairfax is southwest of Cedar Rapids. That is a very short distance to southwest Cedar Rapids. Fairfax has a lot of newer homes that are built in the 2000s or newer. There are an abundance of three-stall garage ranch homes here. 
Fairfax has an amazing park and splash pad for families, as Fairfax is a dream for young families. If you go west on Highway 30, a few miles, you have Atkins and other small towns. Again, if you like living outside of town within a reasonable distance of Cedar Rapids shopping, then this may be a town to look into west of Cedar Rapids. If you want more land or an acreage, some of the areas I mentioned are great opportunities. For more information on hidden gems near Cedar Rapids, reach out as we can definitely help you find those pockets of exactly what you desire. Pro number eight, outdoor activities and parks. Cedar Rapids has many outdoor activities, so let's get right into them. Let's start with the lakes, Cedar River, backwaters, and creeks. Northwest of Cedar Rapids, you have Pleasant Creek Lake. Pleasant Creek Lake is four miles north of Palo, Iowa. This lake is man-made and is 400 acres. It was built as a lake the former nuclear power plant ever blew up. It is a great fishing option for all skill levels, from kids to diehard fishermen. It has a lot to offer. Some of the popular fish you can catch are crappie, bluegill, largemouth bass, large wipers, striped bass, channel catfish, and then there's three prize fish in this lake are yellow perch, as it is one of the best fisheries for yellow perch in the area. Then you have walleye. Walleye are hard to catch in the area, and you can catch walleye of all sizes in this lake. The biggest prize though in this entire lake is the muskie. Pleasant Creek has the largest muskie in the area, if not the entire state. Outside of fishing, you have lots of hiking in Pleasant Creek State Park around the lake. Pleasant Creek Lake is a popular destination for kayakers and paddle boarders as well. On the north side of the lake is the beach and swimming area. It is a great place to spend the day for outdoor enthusiasts. Next, we have the Cedar River. The Cedar River cuts Cedar Rapids in half and penetrates through the heart of downtown Cedar Rapids. From Palo to Southeast Cedar Rapids, you'll find great fishing, boating, trails, and hangout spots throughout. The Cedar River is truly special and is the lifeblood of the city. A few backwaters of the Cedar to mention is Chain of Lakes and Mohawk. Chain of Lakes has some of the best fishing if you know where to go. 30 inch walleye and 45 inch northern pike are not out of the realm of possibility. With dense trees throughout, you almost need to know a local to know where these opportunities are. If you'd like to know, send me a text or shoot me a message or give me a call as I can lead you in the right direction to find those trophy walleye in Northern Pike. Mohawk is a great destination for bass and cat fishermen. It is a nice sized lake backwater that has easy access. I have friends that slaughter the channel catfish there on their kayaks. Next up is Prairie Park Fishery. This is a smaller lake of 65 acres, but has some unique fishing to it. It supports trout, with rainbow trout being a staple. Not many areas have trout fishing in Cedar Rapids, and this is the cream of the crop for trout fishermen. This lake also has a good population of crappie. While there are walleye and northern pike in the lake, it is more of a rarity than normal to catch those species. The other opportunity at Prairie Park Fishery is bicycling. This lake has a 1.7 mile loop that is a top destination for bicyclers. It has a tremendous view while also being able to easily track how many miles you bike. Last is one of the top destinations for lake lovers in the entire state, and that is Lake McBride. This lake is truly a gift to the area. It is a man-made lake that is a top destination in the entire state for fishermen. The top species in the lake are bluegill, bass, striped bass, catfish, walleye, muskie, wipers, and spotted bass. With the walleye being Midwestern's prize fish, it has a good population of walleye and is the place in the area to go to to catch numbers of them. The crappies in this lake also can get to good size with 13 to 15 inches, not out of the realm of possibility. The wipers are also trophy size with many master anglers in the lake. The species that isn't well known, but has or had the state record fish is the spotted bass. It is very possible to catch a state record size spotted bass at this lake. With all the fishing, it's not uncommon also to see kayakers and swimming at the beach, 
paddle boarders, and even sailboats out on the lake. Within McBride State Park, you also have a plethora of hiking trails. Lake McBride is a special place for all residents and travelers to the area. We won't go into detail as I did another video on parks in Cedar Rapids, but one thing to know is that Cedar Rapids has 97 parks and the community takes their parks serious. For more information on parks, I recommend you watch the video on parks linked below. Pro number nine, education. Cedar Rapids is served by six different high schools. Here are the list of the six high schools, College Community High School, Jefferson High School, Washington High School, Metro High School, Kennedy High School, and Linmar High School. College Community serves the southwest side of Cedar Rapids, Palo, Ely, Fairfax, and Swisher. This is one of the most desired high schools in all of Cedar Rapids with Niche.com giving the school a B rating. The entire College Community School District enrolled 5,633 students in 2023. Next up is Jefferson High School. Jefferson also serves Southwest Cedar Rapids with a portion of Northwest Cedar Rapids as well. This is another highly desired school that has a rating of B as well from Niche.com. The high school has a student body of 1,441 students in 2023. Then we get to Washington High School. Washington High School mostly consists of Southeast Cedar Rapids area. Niche.com gave Washington High School an A- rating, the best yet. Diversity is their claim to fame with Niche.com giving them an A in this rating. Washington High School has a student body of 1,189 students in 2023. Metro High School is an alternative high school positioned in Southeast Cedar Rapids. It has the lowest rating according to niche.com of C. With a small population of just 230 students, this is the smallest population of high school students in Cedar Rapids. Next, we get to John F. Kennedy High School, also known as Kennedy High School by the locals. This high school mostly comprises of Northeast Cedar Rapids, Hiawatha, and Robbins. This school has the highest rating of any school by niche.com of an A, with academic scoring an impressive A by niche.com. Kennedy High School has a student body of 1,661 students in 2023. Last is Linmar High School. Linmar High School mostly consists of Northeast Cedar Rapids and Marion areas. Linmar is also equal in rating by niche.com of Kennedy at an A rating. The teachers in the school got an impressive rating of A by niche.com. This high school has a large population of students at 2,233 students in 2023. For private school options, there are options of Xavier High School, Cedar Valley Christian School, and Isaac Newton Christian Academy. If you are considering homeschooling your children, Iowa in general is very open to this form of education with more lenient laws that allow for parents to take their children's education head on. Another thing to consider is the post high school opportunities for education in close proximity to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. In the city limits of Cedar Rapids, you have Mount Mercy College, Kirkwood Community College, and Coe College. Not far southeast, you have Cornell College in Mount Vernon, Iowa. South, you have the biggest university in the area, and that is the University of Iowa. North, you can go to Cedar Falls and have the option of University of Northern Iowa. A little bit farther to the west into the Des Moines area, you have Iowa State University and Drake University. Pro 10, restaurants and eateries. Cedar Rapids has a booming restaurant or eatery scene with tons of options from Indian food, Chinese, American food, Mexican, pizza, and many other options. Some of the most popular eateries are Taste of India, Taj Mahal Cuisine of India, Egg Roll House, 30 Hop, Black Sheep, Burger Fiend, El Parezo, Don Miguel Tiendo Mexicano, O's Grill, Bop's Pizza, and much, much more. So now, pro number 11, traffic. And traffic in Cedar Rapids is almost non-existent. Unless there is a car crash or construction, traffic in Cedar Rapids is rarely bumper to bumper. Some of the slowest traffic that some people complain about, which isn't much, is highway or interstate 380 from Cedar Rapids to Iowa City. If you get a car crash, it can slow traffic to a halt. Also, Blair's Ferry Road on the north side of Cedar Rapids 
can be slower paced, especially if they are working on the road. Overall though, the traffic is not a problem, is nothing compared to larger cities across the country. So we're gonna keep going, but pro number 12, friendly people are low key city. The thing that we love and the residents in the area love about Cedar Rapids is that it isn't too small or too large. If you want all the shopping you need of Walmart, Target, Lowe's, Menards, Home Depot, Fleet Farm, Dick's Sporting Goods, Best Buy, Hy-Vee, Aldi, Lindale Mall, downtown Cedar Rapids, then Cedar Rapids can definitely provide that for you. If you want the high-end shopping of larger cities, Cedar Rapids is not gonna have those for you. But for a simple guy like myself, it has everything I ever need. Then we get to the people, Midwestern people, and definitely Iowans are known for their hospitality. The viewers from this channel that I have met that are moving to Cedar Rapids mention how nice the people are and how they say hi and will wave at you and even hold the door open for you. Moving here, you'll be greeted and feel welcome. At least that is how out-of-staters see it. Now, we have covered a lot of good stuff about Cedar Rapids, but Cedar Rapids also comes with the bad stuff like anywhere. I know, but it's true, and I would say number one con in Cedar Rapids would be the weather for most people. It is not uncommon for it to be below zero and cold from as early as November and as late as most of March. We also get moderate amounts of snow here that can cause roads to be very dangerous for months here. Now the flip side is the summers are extremely humid and hot here. It is not uncommon for multiple 90 degree days with high humidity. It can even have days at or just above 100 degrees. Although rare, they do happen. Con number two is lack of entertainment. We do have the University of Iowa Athletics just south into Iowa City. The Cedar Rapids Colonels are also here, the minor league baseball team, and the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders hockey team. But if you enjoy professional sports, then Cedar Rapids and the surrounding areas are not going to provide that for you. We do have the U.S. Cellular Center in Kinnick Stadium that hosts live music but Cedar Rapids doesn't bring a ton of great entertainers to the area. If you want mountains, Iowa does not provide that. And if you want really large lakes, then you may be disappointed. Overall, if that is a big factor in your decision on moving here or not, then there are better options across the country. Con number three, crime. This is both a con, but it can be a pro. Let me explain. In Cedar Rapids city limits, Cedar Rapids has above average crime rates according to neighborhoodscout.com. The news can be busy explaining all the crime at times and it definitely isn't a positive. That being said, a lot of the towns and areas mentioned in this video have little to no crime in them. It all depends on where you live and the crime maps on neighborhoodscout.com. In other sites, you can also use other sites to help you see where, where the highest crime rate is in the city. Con number four, it's a lack of growth. Cedar Rapids statistics say it all, and that is the population growth is below average. This means that it's not looking likely that lots of money will be coming to Cedar Rapids anytime soon. Although it has a strong economy, losing a major employer like Rockwell or even like Quaker Oats could really cripple the area. It's not likely that this will happen, but it is dependent on the major employers in the city. Con number five, nightlife. This town is not known for its nightlife and can seem boring to some. We absolutely love that about this area as we like the peace and quiet, but if you want Vegas type of nightlife, then this is definitely not going to be the place for you. Cedar Rapids offers many advantages from its convenient location, investment opportunities, affordability, medical facilities, acreages, small town options nearby, outdoor activities, parks, high quality schools, eateries, and little traffic, and even friendly people. This city has a lot to offer whether you're looking for a quiet place to raise a family or a convenient location close to shopping and entertainment with a strong sense of community and a welcoming atmosphere. Cedar Rapids can be a great place to call home. However, if you're looking to have warm winters, cool summers, want the most luxurious shopping, professional sports, then Cedar Rapids may not be right for you. We hope you found this video very valuable. By the way, let us know in the comments below if you live in Cedar Rapids or you used to live in Cedar Rapids, what did you like? What did you not like? That really helps 
everyone that is watching this video and considering Cedar Rapids and is even considering buying a home in Cedar Rapids. We always love to hear from locals or former locals or just our viewers as well. And again, whether you're moving in 10 days or 10 months, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. And until next time, we'll hope to show you around town.